Did you know that the candy hearts didn't start out in the shape of a heart? Hey my friends, welcome back. My name is Giselle. If you're new to this channel, I do draw with me videos, inking videos, step-by-step -step videos, teaching tips, and so much more. Here is a place you can relax, enjoy the video, and just forget your troubles for just a few minutes of your day. Now, let's get started. This is a draw with me video, but you can always follow along if you'd like or slow down the video. I'll also be giving you a short little story about the candied hearts. Please enjoy the music and relax. Let me tell you a little story or some information about Valentine's sweethearts. Valentine's Day, it's a day some people receive candy. We've all seen the small candy conversation hearts or sweethearts we've shared with our classmates, friends, and family. Some of the sayings have changed throughout the years, but let me share a brief history about the candied hearts. If you know, the sweethearts, candies, or conversation hearts with short messages such as kiss me, be mine, miss you, and so forth. Now they have LOL and other little messages on those little candy hearts. Well, they originally got their start by a man named Oliver Chase, a pharmacist born in England. He didn't put medicine into the candies, but he made the candies into a lozenge with flavors of clove and cinnamon, which was in high demand in 1847 at the time. Not my kind of candy flavor, but it was delicious at the time. Anyway, the candies were not originally in the shape of the heart. It was in the shape of a small circular wafer, believe it or not. Chase had invented a machine where he would crank out those small, round, circular wafers. The sayings were actually printed by hand on the lozenges. Until his brother, Daniel, decided to help and came up with a machine to print catchy sayings onto the candies in 1866. The wafers were much larger than the smaller candies we see today which allowed them to put longer sayings, such as married in pink, how long shall I wait, and so forth. Because of their teamwork and dedication to making the candy better, the machine allowed them to make candies much quicker. In 1902, the infamous candy heart shaped candy was born. Since the candies didn't melt, they were sent to soldiers overseas during two wars. The two brothers named the company Neko. Unfortunately, the company went bankrupt in 2019. But don't worry, Brock still continues to make candied hearts with many flavors, including wintergreen, banana, orange, lemon, cherry, and grape, just to name a few. Now you know. On to the supplies I used in this video. The first supply I used, of course, was a mechanical pencil to lay out the art piece and be able to erase any mistakes that I would have or indecisions as far as what to draw. Micron pens, black and blue.
To paint the girl's face, I used wash and some white watercolor to make the skin tone. I also used the Below chalk pencil pastel pencils to soften and bring more color to the girl's hair and face. I also used a Q-tip to blend in the colored pastels. I also used a pink marker to color in the girl's blouse. I used Stedler colored pencils and a few Prismacolor pencils as well. It took a bit more effort with shading probably because of the paper I was using. I will leave the supplies in the description box below. If you like this content, now is the time to click that like button. On a positive note, to love is to will the good of the other by St. Thomas Aquinas. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video.
If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on any future videos. God bless and thank you for sharing a piece of your day with me. Bye-bye. See you next time.